because then I... They didn't like it. They didn't. So I'm going to sing it again and then you repeat it, okay? One, two. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Okay, now? And then, they didn't like it. They didn't like it. All right. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Okay, excellent. Now, that's that's the basic version. Now, <laughs> it's actually, it goes at a bit of a faster pace. So it's going to go, they didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. All right, so let's try that. One, two, three. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. La, 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 la. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Very, very good. Here we go. Well, way, 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 way long ago, much longer than just a while, it seems Israel was in Egypt's land, which is somewhere along the Nile. They were slave. They were uh, slave uh, slaves to a man named Pharaoh. In misery they dwelt. They had to toil away for zero pay. Well, how do you think they felt? They didn't, didn't like, they didn't, didn't like, they didn't like, they didn't like, they didn't like it, not one bit. They didn't like it, they didn't like they it, they didn't like it, they didn't like it. But when you're slaves, you can't just say, I quit. <laughs> Pharaoh, more like on Pharaoh. <laughs> well, Pharaoh, he was doing fine till one day he got the news that a terrible threat would rise up one day from among those slaving Jews. So we issued out an edict, which is another word for law, cause he had seen the future, and the future that he saw. He didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he fearful and forlorn, he made him like it. He didn't, like he didn't like it, it. Like so it. he just spread the word, death to all Hebrew firstborn, <laughs> and that made him feel much better. <laughs> now turn the page. <laughs> well, times were hard for a Hebrew then, especially for a Hebrew mom. It's not like she could just ask for help on SlaveAdvice.com. <laughs> Which what led what which led one such young mother to the most desperate of deeds. She sent her baby boy adrift in a basket made of reeds, even though she didn't like it. She didn't like it. She didn't like it. Didn't like it. Made her downright broken hearted. She didn't like it. She didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. But little did she know what she had started. <laughs> so, this is where I need uh, the young ones here to help me out a bit, because my next verse skips ahead a bit. So what happened to that little boy in the, uh, in the, in the basket? He was found by Pharaoh's daughter, and what did she do with him? She brought him to Pharaoh. Before she did that, did she give him a name? Yeah, Moses. Which means? Drew him out of the water. from the water, and she took him to her, to Pharaoh's palace to raise him as her own son. But he always knew that he wasn't... How did he find out that he wasn't uh, an Egyptian? Did she always know? Did he always know? Because his mother was brought to nurse him. Okay. But not told that it was his mother. The importance of attachment parenting was known in that. <laughs> <laughs> Even by the Egyptians. So Moses grew up safe and sound, and I guess life was pretty good. Till one day he saw a guard beat a slave, and Moses killed him where he stood. He didn't do it to be macho, that's not the way he was. No, Moses was a simple man, he did it just because. He didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it. He made him angry, don't you know? He didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it. And then I guess he figured, yeah, I should probably go. <laughs> so where did he go? Yeah. To desert, right? And he came, what did he become? He became a shepherd. Well, one fine day Moses was herding sheep, or whatever it is shepherds do. When he saw a bush all covered in flame, and the bush was talking to. 
The bush said, Moses, this is the Lord your God. Now get off your shepherd butt. Go back to Pharaoh and free the slaves. And Moses was like, um, what? He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He said, Lord, I'm much too shy. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. But good luck trying to argue with Adonai. <laughs> he drives a hard bargain. So did Moses go back? Okay, and, and uh, he went to Pharaoh's palace. So Moses said to Pharaoh's face, whom, oh, sorry, so Moses said to old Pharaoh, whom he clearly was quite afraid of, he said, Pharaoh, you know, this is kind of awkward since you're kind of like my Zeta. <laughs> but there's a plague of Palooza coming your way if you don't free the Hebrew race. And Pharaoh was quiet for a good long while, but you could tell just from his face that he didn't, he didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't, like he didn't, like didn't stand up and applaud. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He said, "You don't scare me, you or your God." <laughs> well, so the plagues came down one at a time, and things got pretty strange. Frogs and hail and total darkness while well, talk about climate change. <laughs> and the Egyptians suffered bitterly, but Pharaoh stood his ground. And I know we're not supposed to see his face, but I'll bet Eloheinu frowned. Cause he didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Mom, that's turn the page, turn the page, turn the page. Turn the page. Well, here we go. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He said, well, I'll show them. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He said, one more plague and they'll know who's Hashem. And what was that plague, folks? My aunt? Death of the firstborn. Death of the firstborn. So Moses got word to the Israelites and made sure they knew the score. If you want to keep your firstborn son, paint lamb's blood on your door. It was a horrible night for Egyptians. The angel of death struck deep. And a whole lot of mothers lost their boys. And what about all those sheep? They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Being used as red door paint. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. So much blood, I think I'm gonna faint. Okay, I'm fine. Well, Pharaoh's heart, it softened up, or else he'd had enough. Cause he said, okay. The slaves can go, but just leave me all their stuff. So the Hebrews left as fast as they could, a few belongings on their backs. No time to stop and bake their bread, and no time to relax. Guess what? They didn't like it. Didn't like they it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. I know they complained with every step. They didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Even way back then, we never enjoyed a schlep. All right, only three more verses, folks. How you doing? Good. All right. Well, Pharaoh woke up the very next day, and he felt a bit depressed. No one to fix him his bacon and eggs, and no one to wax his chest. <laughs> you don't know what that is? Don't worry. Well, he thought about those happy times his dear slaves had provided. And then he looked around at his slaveless world, and you know what he decided? He didn't like he it. Didn't like he it. didn't like it. He didn't like it. No Jews to do his bidding. He didn't like it. He didn't like he it. Didn't like it. He didn't like so it. he announced, guess what? Kidding. <laughs> so just as the Hebrew runaways reached the banks of the Great Red Sea. Hungry and exhausted, but still pretty happy to be free. They looked off in the distance and saw horses and armored men. There was no escape to either side, and the Jews said, Not again! No, they didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. As they faced this new assault, they 
They didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Moses, you old fool, this is all your fault. <laughs> and so what happened then? And then when and then so they, they when passed they, through. And when all of you passed through, um, when the Egyptians were going to it, us, the water closed. Yeah. On them. The water closed on them, and the Jews escaped into the desert, right? For forty more years of fun. <laughs> all right, and we could we could sing about that, but this is where the story ends. So, so why do you think we tell this tale every year around this table? Is it just a story of make-believe, some dusty ancient fable? Well, maybe it's to remind ourselves that there are Egypts everywhere. And when we see people trying to be free, we can say, hey, we've been there. And you know what? We didn't like it. We didn't like we it. Didn't like it. We didn't like so it. we get it. We understand. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. We didn't like and we're here to lend a hand one more time. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. So we get it. We understand. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. Cause no one ought to live in Egypt's land unless they like it. Woo! <laughs>